No kid, this is the first time I've been on an elevator since 87. Hmm, interesting. I remember that year as it all over yesterday, even though it happened about a month and a half ago. That's the year my wife left me and took the children, all because I was too dangerous and a threat to everybody, including myself. And they're going to leave me with people who could help me. Those people didn't help me. They just stood around wearing white outfits saying, how does that make you feel? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, at one point, kid, I was actually a superhero. Yep, best in the game. I was called the Possum. I would lie, pretend to be dead on the sidewalk, wait for some criminals to walk by, and then just stab them. I was called a possum, but the police for some reason called me the lie down maniac, and all the criminals called me, hey, is that a dead guy? Ah, oh, he's not dead, he has a knife, ah! Oh! Well, that's great. Say, kid, you seem like a nice young boy. Someone can tell you something. All right. Beware the replicants. They're everywhere, and they look exactly like humans. But they're not. They're robots. And they're coming for me. Let me know if you see anyone in a suit and tie wearing sunglasses. Phone noise. Phone noise. Oh, sorry. It looks like I'm getting a phone call. I have to take this. Wow, that sure is an interesting story, real person. Tell me more for about the next, like, I don't know, five minutes or so. Hey kid, can you get off the phone? They might have your wires tapped, they're trying to find me, remember? Okay then. Oh, hold on kid, I gotta read you this cool book I wrote. It's about a story of an entire lifetime. It took three whole years to write. It's 700 pages long. And it's from the perspective of a shoe. Okay, this is a pretty long elevator ride. Kid, you never actually pushed the button.